happen. Maybe it's because I'm talking too much facts and I don't know. Maybe YouTube said, shut the fuck up. You got to go now. I don't know. But I was not finished with what I was saying. Uh, if it's your first time tuning in, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell up top. So if you didn't catch the last video, okay? The last video, I was talking about Ahmaud Arbery. I was talking about how Ahmaud Arbery, okay, case now is very suspect when it comes to the racism card. Now, when I say suspect in the racism card, I'm not saying that there's not no racism involved. It's actually some proof here that it's a racist undercover work going on. Now, if you don't know who Ahmaud Arbery is, let's rewind and take to about a year plus um, in the time machine. Before George St. Fitnall, before the Trap Queen, uh, whatever her name is, uh, shit. What is, what is that girl? Brianna. Yeah. Brianna Taylor, say her name. All that horse shit. There was Ahmaud Arbery that started out. Now, we've seen the video what happened to Ahmaud Arbery. He was running in the neighborhood. While he was running in the neighborhood, somebody, uh, they had thought that, or uh, they claimed the white men that was involved in his shooting, claimed that they felt like he was one of the people that were breaking in cars in their neighborhood. Okay? And they called 911. 911 told them, stay your ass put. Let the police handle it. But because of uh this uh the older guy the michael uh shit i don't forgot the guy's name i know it pretty i know it pretty well uh the the old the, the one of the older men out of the bunch uh he decided him and his son were gonna go after ahmaud arbery so they basically hunt him down like he was just basically a. Uh, 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 a piece of uh, like a, a animal like a deer bro I, it, it was just disgusting and they cornered him and they had Roddy Rich their neighbor that got him at the back and you know like any human being when you see someone corner you you're gonna do one or two things you're gonna run or you're gonna fight he decided to fight dude had the gun had a shotgun because the father already fired the first shot and the dude was trying to run around the thing to run around from him. And then as soon as that guy fired the first shot at him, he see this man with this long ass gun. He going to do what anybody else would have done. You know, you're going to try to fight the dude off. And he shot him. So either way it goes, Ahmaud Arbery, life was taken that day. As, as further things came out, the daughter admit to take a picture of Ahmaud Arbery's dead body and was spreading it around uh, social media on Snapchat. Then there were texts that came out talking about these guys using the N-word with the hard R like it was a regular day back in the 1950s. So with all this coming out, you would think, okay, this is a powerful case, a lot of racism going on. You know, we done had all this shit going on in the world today. You know, let's try to make this case where we can make this thing fair, swift, and get it out of the way. Well, when you're dealing with Glen County, with all the corruption it had that exposed, they got most of it, but not all of it. Because magically, they fought to keep the case in the county. That was the first mistake. Number two, yes, they got a judge from Savannah that was a Supreme Superior Court judge that was, excuse me, a higher ranking a Supreme Court judge that was going to rule a Supreme Supreme uh, uh, Superior Court case. The action is, and the result is, is that this guy, okay, real talk, this guy has said, based upon the recent news of the jury selection, 
that his hands are tied. Now you probably said, well, what about the jury selection? What is so bad about that? If you didn't catch the last part too, I'm just trying to rewind so you can catch it. The jury selection is 11 white people and one black. I know. Ain't that some crazy shit? Exactly. Now, the jury selection was mostly deemed in control by the defense team of these three ratchet ass people. Yeah, I don't, they're, they're, they're very, very much ratchet. Cause to kill somebody in cold blood like this, unarmed, I, I'm sorry, can't respect it. Especially when you was told by the police to stay your ass in your house. Now, because of this, you would think, okay, all this is coming out. Maybe the judge can jump in and get them to look at the jury pool again, reassess, and be more, uh, how can you put this, more uh, diverse. Nope, that didn't happen. Instead, the judge said because of Georgia laws, he does not have any kind of capability to stop this madness. I can't make this shit up. Now, the mother is devastated. And by the way, the mom is very much uh, conservative. And I think the reason why Ahmaud Arbery's mother did not get a lot of coverage from the radical left like the others got because she said that Donald J. Trump was very compassionate about the situation of her son. And he even agreed that it was racially charged. So, you got Donald J. Trump who sees it. Everybody else in America, conservative especially, sees it. Why the fuck is the woke party not talking about this? Tell you why they're not talking about it. Because it don't fit the narrative. It don't fit the narrative. And let me tell you why it don't fit the narrative. It don't fit the narrative because it actually has real racism in it. It actually have real components of what the fuck. And it's so real that CNN and them don't want to touch it. Because they rather touch Cal Rittenhouse, the white boy, as they want to call him, the white terrorist that shot people to defend himself during the time when the city was getting burned down over fucking Jacob Blake. Can't make this shit up. Like you like, it baffles me. So you got a real racist problem over here. You're going to turn your head to that. And you're going to worry about some guy who defended himself because he's white. And he walked past a group of other black people with a gun. Man, this... I... Joe, just let it go. Anyway, my thoughts on the Ar Ahmaud Arbery case before I get distracted. I still say that this case now is going to be a real big question mark. Will the family get justice? That's going to be the biggest question right now. Now, in a Mar Arbery case with 11 white jurors and one black, I don't know. I do know this. If these folks get off, they're going to burn the fuck out of Glen County. I'm telling you now. These people are, 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 are ready to go. Glen County is also democratically ran mayor town. That's right. I just said it. It is a liberal ran county with this shit going on. I'll say it and I say it again. The case should have been tried out of county. They should have tried the case if they really wanted to get the best of both worlds. Me too. I wish Cal would have too, uh, Luper Loop, for Bama. What he should have done, it's between me and y'all, and y'all know I'm not going to lie, I always tell the truth about these things. They should have had that case tried somewhere in North Georgia. Somewhere where there was a medium-sized town of white and mixture of black. Because you already got a Cobb County uh, district attorney on the case. That's what they should have done. That case should have been tried there. 
not a Savannah, Georgia, not a Glean County. It should have been out of the southeastern Georgia hemisphere. It should have been somewhere where it was a new place, a new venue. Making Georgia would have been a good spot. You know what I'm saying? You could have went. If you wanted to have it in Atlanta, yeah, you would have went to Atlanta. Well, Atlanta, yeah, they knew they would have lost in Atlanta, so they would have never would never would have been happy with Atlanta. But Glean County was not the place to have this. It's too much corruption has been exposed in that place, and it's still somewhat going on. Because now you got 11 white folks and one black on the jury. Now, I'm about to fuck y'all up about this town. This town, even though it is estimated to have about almost 200,000 people working and traveling in that city uh, five days a week, the real population of residents there is roughly about 35 to 37,000. Now I'm about to make your mind really get fucked up over here. Over there in Glen County, where this shit is taking place, everybody knows everybody. That's right. If you're a new person and you get in Glen County, it don't take but about two to three weeks people know who the fuck you are. You don't believe me? I used to live there. I lived there. I moved there from the military. I was low-key, didn't say nothing to nobody. Within fucking two weeks, them motherfuckers found out who the hell I was and what I was doing. Not bullshit. My neighbors and all. The shit fucked me up. So this is one of these towns that everybody knows everybody. So you can't come in that little town trying to hide out. Shit's going to get real. So my thing is, why in the world is this case not getting the exposure like these other cases that's supposed to be racist that they talked about? I need y'all to get in the comment section and tell me why. Why do you think that this case not getting the right exposure? Do you think what I'm thinking? Do you think it's because it's really a racist charge case and they know that this case here don't have enough juice in it because in this case here, this was old news versus Kyle Rittenhouse is still fresh because he's a white kid with a gun trying to protect buildings and he shot three people. I think two of them was previous sex offenders. Just tell me why in the world this case ain't getting more coverage. Because I guarantee you what I just reported to you, a lot of y'all didn't know this. And a lot of people are not reporting this. It's like Ahmaud Arbery case has went silent on death. Eve. We, I just wondering, why is it nobody not talking about this case? Get in the comment section. Tell me why nobody is not talking about this case. What are y'all thoughts? And also, tell me, guys. Uh, what do y'all think about the whole situation of Mont Arbery? Let's take the criminal part out. Let's look at what happened that day. I don't want nobody to talk about his criminal past history. I don't give a shit about that. We're talking about the day of the incident where he's unarmed and what was instructed. Do you think these guys were right in chasing him down like this? And do you also think that just because of all of the evidence of them being very insensitive, taking his pictures, spreading it all over the internet and things of that nature that that is some of the major signs of the racial discrimination and prejudice that we try um, that we actually talk about on this channel as a conservative. I mean, I'm just saying, I need my conservatives to really give me their real analysis on this case. Now, like I said, let's don't look at his criminal history. I wanted y'all to look at the analysis of that day. Do you think all of this was justified for them to do? Because you got to remember, they chased him from their residence. He wasn't even at their residence. 
He wasn't even at their residence. Well, Lupa Fabama, just look at the footage and just research it. Look through all the stuff from Fox News. Fox News, Breitbart, uh, all our conservative footage and, and content. It will lay it out for you how fucked up this case was from the beginning of the racial tension that it created and the racism that well, was uh, projected. And you'll see yourself that, uh, yeah, this case definitely was, this was definitely a racial situation. But until then, please like, share, subscribe. Also share the uh, Blackistan Chronicles and y'all know uh, Glacier White Valley on um, Chronicles too, man. All right. I got some more shit for y'all probably tonight. Another shocking uh, Chronicles. This time, this is going for Glacier. Oh, yeah. I'm going to talk about Henry Ruggs. Go to my All-American News Network on sports. I'll be talking about that this morning of the Henry Ruggs case, what to expect, and what my two cents is. Please like, share, subscribe. I'm getting my black ass off here. I'm out.